Are you freaking kidding me, Aya? He'd gone ahead and done something extremely useless now. It's because of you that my date that I was going on was a complete bust. Why are you blaming me for that? I just happened to send something you had forgotten to your address while you were on that business trip. But lo and behold, you haven't even been on a business trip. Rather, you went off to have an affair. You should start by apologizing to me for that. Huh? You're the one who should be apologizing to me. What? I was just going out to see that woman for a good time out. You ruined it. And right as she had come over to see me at the hotel, she found out because of what you sent me that I'm a married man and left. It's all because of you that the money I spent to get this hotel and be with her all went to waste. So you're not going to apologize to me then? You were the one hiding me from her all so that you could cheat on me. And you lied about going on a business trip all to cover up the fact that you were going on a trip with her. What's wrong with me cheating on you? <laughs> all of us men are doing it now, and it's not something you should be getting upset over. Huh? Actually, I was doing a pretty good job hiding it all from you. <laughs> all in order to keep my cheating from ever hurting you. But you went out of your way and found out about how I'd been with another woman. This is all your fault, Aya. <laughs> what the heck, Hudson? You already stabbed me in the back, and now you're saying things like that to me? Normally, one would be saying that they are sorry to me after doing something as crazy as that. That's all I've been waiting to hear from you, Hudson. Why should a husband ever have to apologize to his wife? <laughs> you should definitely be the one apologizing to me. Say so you're sorry for being a wife that can't seem to read the air. <laughs> Excuse me? I'd planned for this trip to be a way to become even closer to my girlfriend. In order to do that, I made sure to get us the best hotel room that place could offer me. But because of you, you just wasted all my time and money that I put into this trip. Don't you think it's only right that you should apologize to me for that? This is getting way too crazy now, Hudson. Are you actually being serious right now? This is your third time this year now that you've been caught cheating on me. What the hell are you trying to do here? I'm doing whatever I want. That's what. I already have to work most of my life away doing a job that I can barely ask myself to do. So it's only fair that I'm allowed to do what I want or I want to. And it all has nothing to do with you. What? Just because you have a better job than me that you actually like doesn't give you the right to treat me like this. Because remember this, no matter how well you're doing in your career, having a husband that cheats on you makes you the worst of the worst when it comes to women. <laughs> you're the kind of crappy woman who can barely keep her own husband around you. Huh? Oh, and to make yourself look even more crappy, <laughs> you went and got in the way of your husband and his girlfriend. I have no choice now but to stay at this hotel by myself and wait for my vacation to be over before coming back to you. And since I'll have some time on my hands now, I might go out and find myself a cute younger woman around this area. <laughs> so while I'm at it, don't you dare get in my way again, you crappy woman. <laughs> hey, Aya! What exactly is going on here? What was I hearing from you? Did you really just tell me that my son has been cheating on you? And that is correct. Apparently he's now cheated on me three times this year. Or at least that's how many times I've caught him doing it. At this point, I'm pretty much done being his wife. But every time I want to tell him things are over with us, he tries too hard to get me back, saying that he will never do that to me again. That's why I was hoping that this time you could say something to him that will get him to let me go. You want me to tell him to stop cheating on you for your sake as his wife? Well, listen here, Aya. It's your fault for letting my boy cheat on you. I will not listen to you try and act as though you're the victim to all of it. What? I have been hearing a lot of things from Hudson lately about you. He's told me that you got a promotion within the company you're working for. 
And because of that, you've been making more than he does every month, right? Yeah. I've finally been promoted to a department manager. Due to all the work I'm having to do now and the responsibilities that I have, I'm making around 200000 a year. Well, so you're making that kind of money now? What I'm seeing here is that even though you are Hudson's wife, you are now making more than him. I think it's right of my son to be cheating on you for being as audacious as that. W wait a second. What? Why am I being blamed for him cheating on me? All I've been doing is working my best to move up in the company for both Hudson and myself. Yet you're telling me that it's my fault that my husband is cheating on me? That's right. As a wife, your job is to walk behind your husband, not in front of him. However, right now you are walking in front of him, making more money than he is. You've really gone and hurt my son's pride now because of that. You are a failure as a wife in my family. What? You think that just because you can work well within that company that you're better than he is? There's no meaning behind a woman making the kind of money you are at the moment. It's because you have all those responsibilities now at work that you can no longer focus on your husband or bear any kids for him. You are not only a failure as a wife, but a failure as a woman in general now. There's no way. I have just been doing my best to make a great future for Hudson and I. Really, you are a huge problem for my son and I. Not only have you gone and left the nest behind in order to make more money than your husband, but you even allowed for him to start cheating on you. I feel so sorry for my poor little baby, having to have a monster like you as his wife. He had no choice but to go out and find himself another woman behind your back. So you don't feel any bit of sorrow for me? Huh? Huh. I've been putting all my time and effort into working that job in order to support my husband. But right as I've been showing my worth to him as his wife, you both are going to blame me and call me a bad wife? And you're totally fine with him cheating on me because I'm the one that's made him cheat? I should be the one you feel sorry for, not him, right? Well, if you feel that we should feel bad for you, then maybe it's time you leave my son for good. You can go ahead and divorce him and not one of us is going to complain. What? It seems to me that my son is very attractive to the ladies if he's able to cheat on you with that many women. <laughs> so if you were to divorce him right now, neither of us would bat an eye. If anything, that would make the perfect chance for my son to find a proper woman to make his wife. <laughs> are you... are you being serious right now? I am. I really believe that we are better off without you. <laughs> We have no need for a wife that's going to cry and complain all the dang time. I think it's time Hudson and I have a change in the family. Is that what you think? I understand then. I would actually like to go home to my parents now. I happen to be hated by both my mother-in-law and my husband now, so there's no point in sticking around. That's right. Go ahead and run off back to your parents. <laughs> and don't you ever come back to us. I hope you'll take the time back to your parents' place to think about just how horrible of a wife you really were. Hey. Aya! What do you think you're doing staying at your parents' place for that long? I am tired of you staying quiet and hiding from us. What? Is this you, Shelly? been a rather long time now. Before you start going on about anything, I want you to apologize to me. I thought for sure that after one month you would have realized how bad of a wife you'd been and come back to your husband. But it's been a whole year now and you haven't spoken to either him or me about anything. 
You told us you would be there to have your baby after saying you had gotten pregnant as well, but you should have had the baby by now. How much longer before you get your butt back over here? What? You have not spoken to Hudson at all this whole year. And since you're not coming back to him anymore, you are forcing him to have to take care of himself. What kind of a wife do you think you even are? Um, Shelly? I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. If you are really going to take that long to learn from your mistakes, then I'd rather you not come back to us at all. And that means I want you to divorce my son right now. I'll have him get married to his current girlfriend after you're gone. <laughs> what? You'll have him marry her? That's right. Did you know that this whole time that you've been at your parents' house doing God knows what, my son has made himself another girlfriend to replace your love? And this time he's been going out with her with the goal of marrying her. <laughs> But you already know all of this is what you get for never coming back to him and letting a whole year slip by. Hmm. And so because of all that, I want you to get that divorce from Hudson right now. And let me warn you not to divorce him asking for any money either. No settlements or anything are coming out of my boy. You are going to say that the reason for the divorce was due to your incompetence as a wife. It was a good choice of Hudson to find yet another woman after you've been away from him for so long. <laughs> Listen, Shelly, can you please hear me out for just one second? I think there's some kind of confusion here. Huh? What about anything I've said has been confusing to you? Now stop with the talk and send those divorce papers in for us at once. You divorce my son right now, you crappy woman. A real woman would never defy what her mother-in-law is asking from her, so hurry it up. I am with my mother-in-law right now, though. Huh? So you asking me to hand in some kind of divorce papers like that isn't going to do anything. I went to the courthouse a year ago, actually, to hand in the paperwork to divorce your son. Wh what do you mean? What do you mean you got a divorce one year ago? That's exactly what I mean. I've been divorced from Hudson for a year now, after taking the paperwork to the courthouse. So please, go ahead and have him marry that girlfriend of his if you really want that for him. I have nothing to do with any of that anymore. Huh? I... I never heard anything about how you and Hudson got any kind of a divorce. Hudson never said a word to me about it. So you're telling me that while over at your parents' house, you went and handed those papers in without our approval? Without your approval? You were the one asking for me to leave him since I was such a bad wife. Actually, you both made it seem as though you wanted me gone, so I did just that for the two of you. Huh? Both you and Hudson were blaming me for being this crappy woman you wanted me to believe I was calling me a useless wife as well. A bad wife. So that's why I finally came around to agreeing with you and getting that divorce. Then I returned back to my parents' house, and soon after that, I got remarried. And as of right now, I'm with a very loving husband and a super kind mother-in-law who both care for me very much. Even now, I'm out with my mother-in-law getting coffee and having some laughs at the local cafe. Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking about, Aya? I'm sure I did tell you that the best option was to get a divorce at the time. Uh, but I didn't... I didn't think you'd actually go ahead and divorce Hudson. And you actually went out and handed the papers in during that time? What? So, what were all those terrible things you said to me? Just some sort of a sick and twisted joke to make me feel bad or something? You are far too old to be saying stuff like that to me as a joke. But I suppose you really don't know what's right and what's wrong still. Huh? I'm going to let you in on a little life secret here. It is very easy to hurt someone with the words you say. 
and in my case, both you and your son said horrible things to me. Being with your son and having you as my mother-in-law was one of the worst times of my life. I tried so hard to make things work out, but every time I'd try something, you both would fight back, making it worse. And, well, after being cheated on a few times by Hudson at the time, you came in for the final blow. You're saying I did? Well, after coming to you for help with him, you told me straight up that getting a divorce from him would be the best for all of us. Do you have any idea how badly hearing something like that from you made me feel? But now you're going to tell me after a whole year has passed that that was some kind of a joke? How much longer are you going to treat me like I'm some kind of an idiot? Wha- what the heck? What's with you acting like you're better than me? You don't get to talk to me like that just because you divorced my son. I am actually very frustrated with you for divorcing my son without our approval, but whatever. At least now Hudson doesn't have to worry about a thing and can hand in his marriage papers to that woman right away. <laughs> That's totally right. I'm very happy that I was able to hand in those documents a year ago before coming back to my parents' place. I need to go and tell Hudson the good news right away. Then he'll be able to get himself that young and cute little woman he's been going out with. And I'm sure that this time, she'll be a proper wife for Hudson. Hey, Aya. Yo, you actually went through with getting a divorce from me? You've already gotten married again back in your hometown. And why are you talking to me about that? I understand that your mom was shocked by all that, but you had to have known we got divorced, right? I told you the moment I was on my way home to send me those divorce papers we had. And you went ahead and did so, right? I... I did. I didn't think you'd actually go through with handing them to the courthouse. Really? You do realize that the only reason I would be asking for you to send me them is in order to sign and hand them in, right? I just assumed you were using them as a way of protecting ourselves from ever having to actually get a divorce. Well, they're more for me to have a way of getting you to stay with me, but... So I thought you just wanted them for me as a way of reminding yourself that I'm your husband and that I was in charge. What? I asked you to send me the divorce papers, which you did, and then ever since that day I hadn't said a word to you? And you thought for some reason we were still going to be married after what happened there? Shut up. Normally one would say something before handing things like that in. You never did that, so all of this is on you. Ah, here we go again. You're going back to blaming me for everything. Well, you can forget about me, because we're no longer a thing, and you have a girlfriend now that you need to marry. I've already heard about her from your mom, but you happen to be with a woman you're actually planning on marrying now? Well, go ahead and have a wonderful life with her, please. What about any of this is going to be wonderful? Her and I already broke up. What? You both broke up? A lot of things changed with us. My mom and I were planning on having me divorce you and then marry another woman. And that's why I had made sure my mom was there to introduce me to a woman like her. But just as things were looking good for me, that witch told me she has a husband. What? So the girl you were dating ended up having a husband? I was so serious about wanting to marry her. But she told me in the end that she was only with me to fool around. So her last words to me were that marriage would never happen between us, so that she ran. But what makes all this worse is that her husband found out about me. So right now I'm being asked by her husband to pay him a settlement that I can't refuse. Oh my gosh. You really went ahead and got yourself into quite the predicament there, then. Having to pay that kind of money to her husband is going to be impossible for me. Since you're never around for the whole year, I've had to eat out every single day. And when the house would get so messy that I couldn't bear living in it, I had to call professional cleaners to come do all that work for me. I've been having to use up all my money every month, as well as most of my savings on all this crap. Right now, I have nothing in my bank accounts. Really? 
That's why I need you to come back to me right now, or else I'm doomed. You happen to be making more money than me, so I'll be fine having you with my wife. I want you to come back to me and pay off this settlement. But tell me, why the hell did you get that divorce without my consent and get married to another man? Stop screwing around, you whore. Excuse me? I think you're the one that needs to get real with me, mister. How about instead of asking me for money when you're broke, you go and ask your mom who you always have as your buddy. I don't give a crap about you anymore. Or are you just going to throw me away then? I sure the hell am. You leave that man you're with right now and come back to me. You're supposed to be here helping your husband. You are not my husband, though. And after marrying a man like my current husband, I learned something. That you are the worst man on this planet. What? My husband doesn't care how much effort I put into my work and doesn't ever say anything hurtful or rude to me. And in place of any of those horrible things, he will compliment and praise me for my work. He tells me all the time that he won't lose to me and will step up the effort he gives in his job as well. He's taught me that as a couple, you should never be a sore loser about the other person, but rather use them as a way to improve yourself. And since I've now learned that with him, I am never coming back to a pile of trash like you. No way. I am not going to listen to crap from you about how I needed to learn to read the air when all you could do was cheat on me with another woman and talk down to me like I was the idiot when you couldn't give any effort at your job to make yourself more money than me. What? Huh? I'm glad to hear that the woman you loved so much has been married the whole time and that her husband is going to suck your pockets dry. It's what you deserve after being the most toxic and crooked husband a woman could possibly have. You always talked to me about how amazing of a man you were compared to me, so figure that mess out on your own since you are better than me. And with that, I don't want you to ever contact me again. Listen to me, Aya. Hudson has been awful to me. He's been using up all my social security to pay off the settlement he was asked for. And it appears that the husband who was asking him for the money is loads already. But now he wants my son to give him a hundred thousand dollars as the settlement. What? He wants that much from Hudson then, huh? Wow. You really got Hudson involved with the wrong kind of woman there, didn't you? And to make things worse, because of that, he's going to be quitting his job now. It seems that the man whose wife he was going out with has connections to the company he's been working for. And so for the past week, his higher-ups have been trying to force him out. He's really had to go through a lot of trouble this week, it seems. He lost the woman that he loved, the money that he had left, and the job that he was making said money from. So, uh, this is why I'm asking you very kindly, Aya. Can you please come back to my family and help us out? What? After looking into you a little bit, we saw that you got another promotion recently. Right now you're making around 500000 a year, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. I am thankful for everything that this company has done for me and for it changing my life exponentially. And luckily I haven't been talked down to at all for taking this promotion, as both my husband and mother-in-law understand how much my work goes towards them. So by having all that support from those two, I really feel as though I'm shooting through the ranks of this company. And, uh, and both myself and Hudson understand the importance of your job as well. So please, uh, get rid of the husband you're married to now and come back to us. Really? A year ago you were telling me I was in the wrong for making more than my husband. Right? How the hell do you understand the importance of my job when you say things like that to me? Uh, that was a joke then. Right now, both Hudson and myself really respect you and your work. 
And thinking about things now, it's important for both the wife and husband to be making lots of money, right? Thinking about how the times have changed, you are really a fantastic woman and wife. So, from what I can tell, you're lying through your teeth right now about me. All to just try and get me to come back and help you two. I think that if you came back to us, you'd be the most important woman ever to us. And from now on, I will not be allowing my son to cheat on you any. I will be your friend until the end of time, alright? So please come home to us. I'm telling you right now that you'll never miss your current husband or his mom after this. I happen to know tons of great cafes in town where we can get coffee and chat. <laughs> you are starting to disgust me now, so could you stop it with all that jabber? What? Also, it's not that fun for me to have to go out and drink coffee with someone that I despise a ton. So no thank you. I'm tired of being disgusted by you, so can we be done here? What? No, you hold it right there. What the heck? What do you think you're doing calling me disgusting? Well, I'm just telling you the truth. You told me at first to divorce your son, and a year later you're back acting like that was all some kind of joke? And the moment things started to get bad for you and your son, you've come crying back to me, asking for my help, saying that you never meant anything back then? It's disgusting that you're behaving that way. That's the only way I can describe it. You're like some kind of housefly spreading all the crap on your legs all over my things. Excuse me? You did say that your cheating son happens to be really good looking. So I'm sure he'll find himself yet another woman to love in no time that you both can abuse. Let's just hope she's stupid and rich so that she'll fall into your guys' trap. Now I'm getting off my phone. I literally have nothing to do with you both anymore, so stop trying to get me back after you forced me away. After that, Hudson ended up leaving the house he was in to go back to living with his mom at her house. But before long, rumors began to spread around town about the mother and son duo that are so stupid they never knew that after a whole year, his wife had divorced him. And about how embarrassing Hudson is for running all the way back to his mother, crying for money to pay off the settlements. With rumors like that all spreading around about those two, it's a surprise to me that either one of them is still able to live in that town. Because of all those rumors, Hudson found it really hard to get with any other women, and resorted to going to speed dating parties. But after going to a few of them, they started to ban him for being too insane after asking so many girls to marry him and take him away from his mother. <laughs> 